Yo! <laughs> what up guys and welcome back to another one. Today I got a plan. I got a plan, I got a plan. We have been doing a lot of maintenance on the old pigeon loft. They're doing great. We got the old new guy in there, the old big mean male himself. That blue check that we got last time in the old spring trap, he is mean. He just sits in there and he does nothing but growl at everybody else. But check this bad boy out, oh yeah. This is an old trap of Jordan's yet again, one that he had laying around. He uh, fixed it up a little bit for us and he said, dude, you need to take this bad boy out to the truck stop and you need to put it to use. So that's what we're gonna do. I think it's time for another trap, for another big hotel trap. And the reason being is because there are a ton of pigeons populating at the truck stop, which is good, you know what I mean? There's two areas, two primary areas where they wanna be and where they wanna feed. And I got the one area locked down with the other big trap, but I need another trap. <laughs> Gotta have two of them right now. I don't know, 20 yards over from our other trap is where the pigeons are really starting to populate and they're loving that grain there. There's a lot of beans and there's a lot of wheat in the beans that I can't get all cleaned out. So, long story short, we're gonna introduce another big trap to the old truck stop today. But before we get going here, y'all, if you guys are liking the videos, you gotta hit that notification bell down there and you have to subscribe because we have went daily. We are uploading daily. It's crazy. It's a lot of work and I hope you guys enjoy. But we're gonna load up the old trap here. There we go. We gotta check the trap, see if we have anything in the other ones and then we gotta get this one set up. Let's get on the road. Well, we are out here at the truck stop. There's literally just feed everywhere. Look at that, that's a big old pile of beans that's new. But here's our spring trap there, looking lovely. That's what we just caught that big old mean blue check on. And right beside it we have the normal big hotel. Actually just took a bunch of food out of it. It was actually heaping full of food, probably too much. And I moved it to our new trap. Check it out. All the way over here, all the way. Probably a good 20 yards from the other traps. So now we got three traps out here um, I think this is gonna help a bunch. So right here, you see all this feed starting right there to right here. This spot in particular is where the pigeons really like to sit and congregate to eat. And over here, this spot has been robbing my other spot because they like this spot so much. So I am hoping, I'm hoping this is the juice. I'm hoping that we'll have some more luck trapping them in our big hotel traps here. But it's about the same trap. I do have to uh, tie the lid down though. Well, we got her all set up, got the door tied down. I think this is gonna work. Uh, the last, I don't know, handful of days, three to four days, uh, that's where the pigeons have really been congregating to eat. They've been going to that particular spot rather than the hotel trap because they know that there wasn't a trap there. You know what I mean? So, we're gonna surprise them today. They're gonna show up, there's gonna be a trap there. They're gonna be like, well, what do we do now, George? Uh-huh, there he goes. I see you. It is a constant battle, y'all. Look, look at that. Barely anything there, but it's wheat. It doesn't take the biggest pile to attract the pigeons, I'm telling you. They know if there's feed and there's not a trap there, they're gonna be there. They've gotten used to these traps, I think, so trapping them, uh, trapping them might be getting harder, I don't know. But we're gonna clean up this pile of wheat so they don't have that option. Oh boy, wow. <laughs> that was literally right by the window. Uh, this is a truck stop. Back to uh, back to what I was gonna say here. It is a truck stop. Lots of trucks hauling different material. So there's our trap, that's our first trap there. Then we have our spring trap there. We got all the feed, yeah, yeah. Oh my, what are these new things? Holy smokes. Just by looking at it, it looks like salt piles. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, and they dropped it right in between the traps and this. They dropped new food here, and this is what all the pigeons want. These ones right here. That one, and this one, little piles of wheat. But that, I ain't gonna be able to move that, boys. There is no way. But there's like a thousand, more than a thousand pounds of material there. I wonder what that is. Salt. You. Definitely salt. But like I said, they're wanting to go to these two new piles right here. 
I'm gonna have to move them. I have no option but to move these, get it back where the traps are, and get them out of here because with these here, they're definitely not gonna go to the traps now. Yep, yep, you gotta get witty. You gotta take gambles, you gotta take risks. You gotta switch it up. So what I did, I got slick here. Instead of cleaning up both piles, this was this pile, you can tell, cleaned it all up. But I left that one because they're really comfortable on that pile today. That's where they wanna be. They're extremely comfortable. That is exactly where they wanna be today. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the microphone out of the wind as much as possible here. So that's the new trap that we put out earlier today, and it's not near as nice as the other one. These are both Jordan's traps. And uh, what I mean by gamble is putting it all the way out here. Now we're all the way out in the parking lot. And I hate to do that because I don't want it to get ran over. But today, I think it's worth the gamble. <laughs> okay. Jordan, if it gets ran over, I'll pay 150 bucks, straight up. And if it does get ran over, I wanna say sorry before it happens, cause it could happen. But this is the gamble we're gonna to take today. We're gonna to see if it works. I think it will. I'm gonna get the truck out of here. Oh, I love doing this. You sit here and you watch them. You learn where they want to be, what they want most, and you switch stuff up a lot and you make it happen. That's where you trap them. Well, y'all know me, when I find stuff on the side of the road, I always check and see what it is. Oh, that's an old chair bag. Ah, I thought it was gonna be something better than that, darn it. Still, decent find, decent find. <laughs> oh, I'm always stopping on the side of the road, picking up stuff that I see. So I'm always out scouting birds, scouting pigeons, scouting ducks. Scouting dove. Dove season's on the way and I cannot wait. Well, we are just bombing in the old Nissan today, boys. And like always, it's the next day. I know, these pigeon trapping videos, it seems like it's always the next day. And yesterday, so a little recap, they set out those big piles of salt. And we set a new trap, right? We brought the secondary trap out. We got them, we got more, we trapped them, boys. There it is. Got to push these ones out of here. Better go get these birds out of this trap. Well, we're going to be outgrowing the loft now, boys. I can't believe this. It's really turning on now. Holy smokes. This is the new trap we set out. Check it out. We got three more. That is 12 pigeons total that we have trapped, fellas and gals. 12. We're going to be outgrowing the loft, boys. I, I, we're literally going to be having here very soon, I don't know if that loft is uh, big enough for more than 12. 10 to 12, I think, is, is kind of max capacity. But here's the salt piles, and uh, sure enough, they don't want to go back there. They want to stay on this side of the salt. We got them. We got them. Man, 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 and they're all blue checks. Every one of them. Man, it seems like if you trap one, you trap three. I think using uh, the bait bird theory, having a bait bird in there works a bunch. Uh, I didn't get to see these birds walk in here, but I am, I am very, very sure that if you have a bird in here, they're gonna be way more susceptible to walking in. And this is the third time we've trapped three uh, together. Well, there's the first one. Good looking one, it's a little younger, not too old. That's one. Got him. Look at you. Uh, about the same age. Can't tell if that's a male or female. Hasn't cooed yet. Holy smokes, I cannot believe we got three more. That guy, this guy here is wild. He's, he's a mess. Dude, you're wild. He is wild as all get out. He looks a little older. His eyes tell me he's a little older. And it seems like the older ones, the bigger ones like this guy, I can tell you he's older than the other two for sure. These older ones are strong and they're, they're just aggressive. They're a lot more aggressive to handle and to have in the lodge and especially in a trap. The last one we trapped, uh, he was a big adult male. And just like this guy, just had a ton of energy and real feisty. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Yep, yep, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna actually leave that one of those calm ones in here. We're gonna leave him in here. This is a test. 
gonna leave one in here I hope he doesn't escape or something like that crazy happens but we're gonna see if having one in here helps catch more because I think it's true I think by having a bird in the trap you end up having way more way better luck trapping more birds so we're only gonna leave him out here for about an hour because I want to get him back to the loft so he has some water and stuff but it's time to try it boys oh boy three more this is getting wild y'all <laughs> it's a getting wild let me tell you what so first off uh, I know it's a risk we're risking it for the biscuit putting a uh, putting a bird in the trap uh, but to be quite honest we already got 12 birds 11 which will be now in the loft if we were to lose this one or something I wish I could throw a band on him real quick just in case we lost him kind of have that bounty out for him that was suggested by Jordan but this is gonna be our trial uh, let's see if it works well we are pulling up back here to the truck stop it's been I don't know about an hour and a half and I just got back from Jordan's place. I had to take those two pigeons out there. I took them home and I looked at all the pigeons in there and I was like, there's just no room for three more. So uh, I was talking about Jordan getting his loft up and going. He got it all fixed up, got it all cleaned up. And so he has two birds in there finally. And we're pulling up here and <laughs> right now, drop a comment. And do you think the live decoy bird worked? Drop a comment down below, let me know. But like I said, um, Jordan got us off up and going. We're gonna go, we're gonna have to go check it out here uh, sometime soon. But we're just filling up this loft, and I mean fast, because guys, guess what? The live decoy worked, bub. <laughs> oh, we have, oh goodness, we have one in the spring trap too. Well, here we go. We got a blue bar in there. He's new. The That blue check right there is the one that was our decoy. Look at these birds. They don't want to leave. But we got us that blue bar. He's new. Yep, we got you, bud. We tricked you, huh? So there's two birds in that one. And it looks like the spring trap has one as well. That's five birds today, boys. What a good day. What a good day. This guy here, this this is what's bad about this spring trap, guys. Look at him, it messes them all up. Hold on, dude, let me help. Here, come here, buddy. Yeah, I don't, this spring trap just sucks. I'm telling you. That's why you can't leave them for very long in this spring trap because they get all caught up. There you go, dude. Yeah, you're good to go. That's another blue check. I cannot believe how many blue checks. That's a real, that's an adult bird. Wow, look at that. Another blue check. That's an old guy. Holy moly. That is five birds today, y'all. Five birds. I'm glad I took those two to Jordan's house because there's no way that we were gonna fit all these birds in the loft. I mean, no way at all. Not possible. <laughs> Woo, it's getting wild, y'all. Well, back here at the house, and we're going to get these bad boys in the loft here. Welcome to your new home, buddy. There he goes. That's one. <laughs> Two. See us adding to him, sis? Isn't that cool? We got one more. Watch. There he is. That's our last one. Oh, he's a big one. Look at him, Harper. Isn't he big? Yeah, pet him. He's pretty, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Got, we caught five today. Yeah. Two of them I had to go run to Jordan's because we're out of room at the loft. Yeah. Let's put this one in here. You want to see him, Bubba? Yeah. You want to see him? Yeah. Look how pretty he is. Yeah, pet him. Isn't he cute? Whoa. Let's put him in there. Say, go on to your new home. But, oh, he didn't fly very well. Sorry, bud. But needless to say, the loft is pretty much at full capacity. After we caught the three today, I was like, I'm going to do the live bird in the trap, but I can promise you we're going to end up catching more. So I'm glad we took the two to Jordan's because if we hadn't, 
we'd have 14 birds in here. I mean, 14 birds would be too much. I mean, honestly. We got 12 in there right now, and it's pretty much too much, to be honest. So, I'm gonna have to come up with some ideas what we're gonna do with all these pigeons. I have a few ideas. I know we're gonna band a lot of them, and we might release some. And I'm thinking we're either gonna sell some or trade some. So we can make a little bit of money if we want, or I can trade them for some fancy pigeons, some pretty ones, some white ones, you know what I mean? Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think we should do with this overflow of pigeons now, because we got a lot of them. <laughs> I mean a lot. Don't we, but we got a lot of them pigeons. You just want baby frogs, don't you? But I thank you guys for being here. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for your boy. And if you're new to the channel, you gotta make sure you subscribe. We are coming at y'all with daily uploads. I know, right? A lot of work, but I'm enjoying it. You guys are too. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying them just like I am. But till next time, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Cause I've been getting laid back Baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism Pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that